What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm going to be doing a Soundcore app tutorial for all of you out there that are not sure how to use the Soundcore app. Now, before we get deep into the video, make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Let's get into it. So in order for you to begin using the app, you have to make sure the headphone you're trying to use the app with is successfully paired to that device you're trying to use the app with. Once you do, this is the screen that you are greeted with. Now in the center where it says Light Q35 headphones, as you can see next to it, there's a battery symbol. That's just simply giving you your battery status. So I'm currently at around 75%. Now if we continue looking down, you're gonna see where it says ambient sound, and normal. I'm gonna tap on normal. And right here where it says noise cancellation, I can toggle between the three different modes of active noise cancellation. So you have transport, indoor, and outdoor. Now you have transparency mode. And finally you have normal, which I'm gonna leave it under the normal settings. Now, if we go where it says equalizer, now let me just go back. Equalizer is at the bottom left. We just tap on that. And if we go with bass booster and we tap where it says default, if you tap on default equalizer, you can just select an equalizer based on your default listening habits. So if you like songs that, you know, that are more dance or electronic, then you can set it to dance or electronic. But for me, I like my songs to have a little bit of bass added to it. So I adjusted it to bass booster. Once you do that, you can back out of that. Now the other option you have if you're more knowledgeable about adjusting your equalizer settings is to tap on custom and go into it and then you can customize your own equalizer. So as you can see, I have this equalizer set to loud. This is something I customized and I pretty much set it to the max for every setting. And the reason why is that makes my headphone a whole lot louder. Now, if this is not good, you can create other equalizer settings that you can customize and simply just create new ones and you can name them something else. So I can create a new one and just say, in this instance, YouTube. And then done. And as you can see, YouTube is it begins a whole fresh set of equalizer settings that you can then adjust on your own and it would save it. So even though you're on YouTube right now, as you can see the blue square, if I tap on loud, see, it goes back to my original equalizer customization that I did. Now, if I back out of that, as you can see, it's going to say custom. And then it says that I selected the loud customization that I made. Now, if we go back to the home, the home setting here, and we go to the top right where there is a settings icon, if we tap on that, you can then toggle to turn on and off your wearing detection and touch for transparency feature. Also, you can use the update firmware here by tapping on that and you can update the headphone fully over air without connecting it to your computer. Finally, you have the quick start guide. With the quick start guide, you can just tap on that and it will give you access to the quick start guide that originally came with the headphone all digitally so if you lost a physical copy no need to worry it's all in the app another thing if you look at the bottom right there's something called superior sleep now if you tap on that what this does is if you're the type of person that wears your headphone when you're about to go to sleep or before you take a nap and you want the headphone to play some kind of ambient sound to help you fall asleep or to relax you even more before you fall asleep there's a bunch of ambient sounds here, such as the bird chirpings, or there is, you know, rainfall, whatever it is that you use or you want to listen to before falling asleep, you have that option right there. Now, if we go back to the home setting and you tap on those four squares right here, you're going to see my devices, which is highlighted in black. And this is for devices that I originally and previously paired with my phone or whatever device you're using and that are eligible to be customized through the Soundcore app. So in my case, I'm currently using the LifeQ35 headphones and the LifeQ30 headphones I've also used in the past. But let's just say you purchased a new Soundcore, you know, app enabled device. 
you can then go right here and you can add it using these settings. So if you got a Liberty Sirius earbuds or a Life Sirius headphones or earbuds, you can also add any, you know, mini sound bars or mini Bluetooth speakers you got. You can add them here. Soundcore frames, also the beat light. And if you tap on the D logo in the bottom right or in the bottom middle, actually, you get to see a discovery and you can just read about, you know, just community forums and etc. Just various things. And finally, the bobblehead all the way to the right on the bottom right. That's just simply your profile. And you can see the devices, help, settings, all the usual stuff. So this was my Soundcore app tutorial video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Hope you have a great day. Take care.